Another ecological innovation at CES is OLED, or Organic Light Emitting Diode. This technology is on the cusp of becoming the future of HD television. And not only is this TV organic, but it is also very thin. It's as thin as a credit card. And we got a chance to meet up with one of the inventors of this technology. So take a look at this. Since the 1940s, televisions have been a staple in the American household. And for over 60 years, they have been secretly polluting our planet. The lead inside the glass tube is toxic. But today, scientists at Kodak have invented an organic solution to building televisions. It's called Organic Light Emitting Diode, or OLED. The reason it's called organic is because the emitting layers are made up of organic compounds. And organic compounds are those which contain carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, uh, and a few other uh, atoms in the periodic table. James Buntain, vice president of OLED technology at Kodak, says this technology will revolutionize the flat screen display world. People are very visual learners, and OLED uh, is able to render brilliant colors, deep blacks, high contrast, good readability in a whole variety of circumstances. OLED is not only green, but also has superior visual quality compared to plasma or LCD screens. Shown on the top are five portable TVs. The center TV is an LCD, and the others are OLED screens. The liquid crystal display, as you can see, has smoky blacks, and the colors are not very vibrant. The OLED is quite the opposite. And on viewing angle, the LCD display loses its brightness and loses its color. But not only are the colors different, check out the width. OLED displays are half the thickness of other LCD screens. But why are OLEDs greener, sharper, and thinner? To get that answer, we have to meet the man who invented it over 30 years ago, Stephen Van Slyke. In the early 70s, there was a worldwide oil crisis, and many companies, Kodak included, started solar energy projects. And one of the projects was to turn sunlight into electricity simply by coating organic film-based solar cells. And now, over 30 years later, using similar science, OLED technology is ready to hit the big time. The simplest OLED structure is made up of five organic layers sandwiched between electrodes. The organic chemicals are burned to an extremely thin piece of glass called the substrate. Five layers are then sandwiched between a cathode layer and an anode layer. As electricity travels through the five layers of molecules, they become excited and emit light. And all of this is 200 times thinner than a strand of hair. The difference between a red, a green, and a blue emitting OLED is really in the emitting layer. We choose organic compounds that emit red, and same for the green, and same for the blue. So those three colors make up the primary colors in color space. And by combining the three colors, they can create a vibrant color wheel capable of emitting over 16 million different colors. Although the screens are still small, Stephen is confident OLEDs are the wave of the future. But I expect that in the next five years, it's very likely that we'll see 42 inch, maybe 60 inch OLED displays for sale. And he even says this same technology may one day replace the incandescent light bulb. This is a six by six inch solid state light prototype, which is very efficient and very bright. Imagine, this could be the start of a new way to light our cities. The future is so bright, OLED inventors will have to wear shades. <laughs>